Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach, and this is my little show about whitewater things. And this today is gonna to be a new style of episode I'm pretty excited about. This is just us playing with ropes and mechanical advantage systems, and it's kind of goofing off. And this started because I used money that we've earned for the show through Amazon advertising and from YouTube advertising uh, to buy this load cell, or what we call dynamometer. I think that's the same thing from Rock Exotica that allows us to measure the force in the ropes. It's actually pretty fun to play with and very educational for us as we practice different mechanical advantage systems. So I wanna share what we did the other night with all of you. Please note that like we're not rescue instructors. This isn't meant to be a class. This is just us having fun. So this is for entertainment purposes only. I know you're gonna judge us because one of our knots isn't dressed correctly. We probably step on the ropes. We probably make a few mistakes. And, and that, again, this is just us in the evening kind of goofing off with the load cell and thought we'd video and share it with you. If you have thoughts about this, questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. If you think this is super cool, I'd love to know that. If you think this is dumb and a waste of time and maybe irresponsible, tell me that too. Um, but just thought a lot of you out there might enjoy this. So with that, enjoy. Okay, ready? Action. This is Gear Garage and I'm Tim. Welcome to the show. <laughs> okay, what are we doing in the show? Oh wait, no, I thought we were gonna cut from that. No, no, you get, now what are we doing here? Just explain what we're doing. This is our, this is our dynamometer. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. All right, I'll do it again. Here. This, this is, is our- edit this. this is all gonna go on. <laughs> wait, let's try, uh, action. All right, this is Gear Garage. I'm Tim, welcome to the show. We are testing our new dynamometer today. Okay, that was pretty weak. That was a weak You pull. can do better than that. Let's see All a right. big pull. All right, what'd you get? Oh, that was solid. 0.96. So you're almost a kilonewton. Let's just- one kilonewton. Let's approximate you as a kilonewton. I'm one kilonewton. Okay. So that was a straight pull. Let's do a progress capture and see if we can beat that. All right. So now we're gonna do progress capture. We have a prusik and a pulley. I'm gonna mine the pulley while Timbo pulls, and we're gonna see if we can get more force with progress capture. You ready? Set, go. Hold on, I gotta, I'm doing a bad job. All right, I mind it. Don't wrap the red hand up. That's all, that's all I can move the prusik. Yeah. Try it one more time. All right, let's go look and see what, now we gotta put the camera on the dynamo. Yeah, look at this, Liz. Come on in. 0.8. We got less. That was less. But while we're here, let's do one thing that's really cool. I just wanna do a vector pull. How much force do you think I can get from vector pulling this tight rope? Much more. Two point two. That's kinda cool. That's actually super crazy. So you got one kilonewton by pulling direct. Yeah. And by getting a tight rope and pulling, we got double that. Yeah. Just over double that. That's super cool. All right. Now cut. People don't do gear, watch Gear Garage for the quality. They watch it for the content. And good looking dudes. <laughs> So now we're doing a three to one. Tim, who we know can pull one kilonewton, is now doing a three to one C rig, whatever it's called. And we want to see how much force is going to happen on a dynamometer. I'm guessing 2.2. 2. 2. What are you guessing? Right. I'm guessing 2.8. Lesson says 2.8. Two eight. Eight. Any other guesses? Three. Three? There's no way it's three. <laughs> I've seen him pick up really heavy comm boxes. So. Okay. What do you think it's going to be? One. It's not one. <laughs> Muscle town. And in case anybody's wondering, yes, that is Karate Kid playing in the background. All right, you guys ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, go! I think the Karate Kid needs a helping. 2.4. 2.4. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, that was a good pull. That felt good. So here's the next thing I'm wondering. Is let's put a re, let's put a redirection on this, and the thing the redirection is going to do, like when Tim was pulling, these weren't all in line because he was pulling this one off at a little bit of an angle, yeah. so he can be potentially more efficient if we do a change of direction because it makes all these ropes line up well. 
So now we want to know, can he beat 2.4? I got to reset this. There's no Cobra Kai playing in the background. So hopefully we still can get the, get the power. Okay, I think right? you should be pulling. Um, Which way? Coming this way? Yeah, that was my thought. What? Well, yeah. then it's a... You can do whatever you want. Okay. It's a redirect. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to go this way. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? It's a redirect. Right, yeah. but look at the, but he's moving the whole system off that way. Yeah, he should be coming straight back towards It doesn't matter, the lines, are, the ropes are all lined up. All that matters is the ropes are lined up. Yeah. Let's try different things. Yeah, okay. do all it. Right, hold on, do it your way, don't do it Dustin's way. <laughs> Ready? Ready, set, go. One eight. Seriously? One eight eight. I did reset. Wait, now we're more in line. I was just pretending like I didn't have room to pull. You know, like I'm on the riverbank. Now do it Destin's way. Destin's wrong. <laughs> no, this will be more. <laughs> this won't be more. It's, it's a reason right. It has another. It won't be more. more. It's a four to one. It's not a. It's it not a four to it. one. It's just a change of direction. It doesn't do anything. Oh yeah. There so it doesn't matter what the angle is. All right, let's try it. Ready? Ready, set, go. 1.72. Okay, so we took the redirect out and we're going to what should be less efficient than the redirect. And he's going to do the pull. He was with the redirect, he was doing about 1.8. Without the redirect, before he did 2.2. And we're wondering now, like, does the redirect make you weaker? So let's try it. See if we can get back to 2.2. 1.72. Okay. Oh, almost two. Almost two. 1.98. Well, it's definitely more efficient. 2.1. So I think this is my theory. The redirect adds a little bit enough friction. I, I would go with, like we're increasing friction in the whole yeah. system. Yeah. But I wonder if it'd be better that with bigger pulleys. That the smaller pulley yeah. is increasing friction because it's got a tighter turn okay. to make. Yeah. The bigger Here, here's our next experiment. Ready? Let's we'll start over. We're going to measure pulley. Dustin's pulling power at our baseline and then apply that to the 3 to 1 pulley. So let's take a break, let's take this apart, and cut, and we'll reset. So here's what we're going to do Dustin's going to pull, and we're going to see Dustin's pulling power first. What do you got, Dustin? This is flip flop Dustin. Right, just know this isn't Dustin's best, this is flip-flop Dustin. Using his Dustin technique. Dustin, 0.9 kilonewtons. Oh. That's a solid effort Very in flip-flops. In the gravel. In the gravel. Okay, so AJ, what right. do you got? This is single AJ, and then we're gonna see what they combine can do. More AJ power. AJ power, you have better shoes than Dustin. How many kilonewtons can you pull? Ready, go. She's got the good technique, she's got the good technique. That's not the Dustin technique, but it's good. Oh, yeah, there Whoa, we go. That's <laughs> All right. crazy. Okay, what do we got? 0.38. <laughs> so, not a, even half a Dustin. So, a Dustin <laughs> plus an AJ should be 1.28. Okay. Let's see if you, together what you guys can do. All right. Ready, set, go. He's ready to give up? Yeah. All right, 1.14. Oh, okay. really so I think the idea is that like two people individually can, it does, it's not additive, like there's no. inefficiencies as we go. Right. Does that make yeah, sense, right? That makes sense. Okay, so you guys can do together 1.14 kilonewtons. So how can the two of you pull on a three to one? We change out the pulleys. Now we have the good big pulleys with minimal, uh, minimal bearing friction. So let's go big pulleys and see what happens. Again, right, Timbo had the small pulleys. I need both of you guys. Oh, this is a two person pull, time. yeah. Because like, your baseline is 1.14. Okay, let's do. Back here. Yeah. So, again, Timbo had like the smaller, less efficient pulleys. We put the really efficient, good pulleys on here. Yeah, don't push on the tree, that's cheating. Oh, he's teaching her new techniques for pulling. Mm. That seems like it's not yeah. science anymore. Yeah. Ready you guys ready? Yep. Go!
Oh. Where are we at? It didn't hold it. I think I pressed the button. Hold on. Why isn't it telling me the max? All right, now do it. Oh, yeah, no, I got 2.72. Oh. That seems a lot. We, we more than, no, we didn't quite. We do it one more time. Yeah. Do it one more time, because that seems like it's not right. Let's just confirm it. Just do one more real quick. Okay. 1.14, yeah, seems about right. I just like making them pull it again. You had to work today at the work. Come on, try harder. <laughs> it's weak. All right, 2.62. Nice. So that's about, if you guys were 1.1 something, it's about 2.4 times better. So the belt double. But the pulleys, I don't think, made a big difference. It's more than double. We'll have to do the math I was, later. I was going to say, there's... It's like, like 2.3, and he was about 2.3. You were 2.4-ish. 2.2. Yeah, I, I guess 2.2. Anyway, this conversation is incredibly boring for all of you. But I think the thing we learned here is that we can each pull at our best, maybe about a kilonewton, like keep messing that up, and that a 3 to 1 is more like a 2.3 to 1 with the inefficiencies. And the redirect that we add for safety actually makes it more like a 1.8 to 1. Yeah. Does that sound right? Cool. Show me another one of those beans. Are we doing more? Yeah. All right. Oh, you wanna, you We're doing go more. Five We're to gonna one. cut for a second. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> when you're like, we want power. What, what are you when doing you use, right you you use brawn over brains. Bah. Spin. Hi. I need to something. 12. 12 power. Like if you're a three to one, you only have four people pulling. Yeah. If you have a five to one, you only have two people pulling. So you don't go over twelve. Okay. Yeah. If you have a one to one, you only you don't have more than twelve people pulling. Action. So Dustin and Timbo for some reason set up a five to one. I'm not really sure why. Maybe to prove how manly they are. But we have one kilonewton Timbo over here, and he's gonna pull in this five to one. What do you guys think he's gonna do? How what's the load gonna be? You got one kilonewton Timbo. 3.4. 3. On a 5 to 1. 3.4? 3.1. 3.1? 3. Let's say 4. Liz? 2. 3. <laughs> we got a 2 from the, the audience. And yes, Karate Kid's still playing in the background. All right, ready? Set. Go! Dude, one kilonewton Timbo is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call him one kilonewton Timbo for nothing. <laughs> All right, I think we, I think I have moved it up a little bit. Whoa. Okay, three point five. Nice. Oh, what did I say? Three four. That was close. You said three four. I think yeah. you were the closest. Nice. Three point five two. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Yeah. Nice job. That's so, a... I think the moral of the story is to just to close this episode of Gear Garage up, is that mechanical advantage isn't as efficient as we think. And it's because there's stretch in the rope, there's like burying friction, there's just like, I don't know, what else is there? It's just a five to one is theoretically five to one, but in reality it's a 3.5 to one because one kilonewton Timbo pulled 3.5 kilonewtons of force. So that's this episode of Geek Garage. I know you guys are gonna leave nasty comments in the bottom, how unscientific this is. Awesome, I can't wait. Looking mm -hmm. forward to the conversation and I guess we'll see you in the next episode. All right, this is a special edition short gear garage about what happens when dudes get together and start add being guys. when guys start being guys. They just did what they think is a nine to one over here, and we have one kilonewton Timbo about to pull the nine to one. What are our guesses for the force that we're gonna see in this? Four. It already has three point five in your really pulley. Seven point eight. Seven point eight. Eight five. Eight five? Nine. It can't be nine. <laughs> I'm gonna say what did you say seven something? Seven point eight. Seven point seven. <laughs> Alright, let's okay. go one kill in Newton Timbo. Dude, what? Seriously? Yeah, look, he's pulling it right to the oh. that can't go any further. What do you got there? It's four point hold on. Here, let's see if we can do the whole thing. 4.26, that doesn't seem right. I don't think you're Wait, pulling he, it. He okay, so here's what happened. 
It's a compound nine to one. So for every nine feet the professor. moves there, it's only moving one foot yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. So the system bound on itself because it takes so much rope to pull it through to make a little bit of a distance. So now he only got to 4.26 kilonewtons. They're moving the pulleys out so he can actually pull this so that the system binds it. Now, anytime you have a nine to one system, you're gonna have two guys like this, like fiddling with pulleys and arguing and like, I don't know, this goes here. Like they're gonna stumble, especially on camera. They're gonna, this is gonna be a while. So just like, I don't know, go to your fridge, grab a soda or something. Relax. I do get, um, when you watch this on YouTube, I do need the content length. So like if the, if the video is longer like this and you keep watching it, I get bonus points. So uh, I forget what that's called, but please keep watching. But you have enough time to go to your fridge. So go to your fridge, get a soda, and come back and watch one kilonewton Timbo pull on a nine to one. You ready? Okay. Come back from the fridge. We're starting. All right. Okay, you ready? Ready? Go. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, man, too. Yeah. Jesus. I'm going to step back a little bit. Let's go, Timbo! Timbo! Woo! Uh, you never do it again. Oh, man. All right. What are the guesses again? 7.8. 7.7. No way. No, it's not what it is. What did you guys guess? <laughs> oh, I guess 7.8. No, you I don't want to attack, like but I got a little scary. What'd you uh, guess? Eight something, then eight five. Yes, eight. I guess five. I said, I don't know, six. Liz. Nine. Five point one. <laughs> I, had, I didn't you pull as hard as I could. It got scary. Think, okay, there's two reasons for that. Three reasons. One, he, Timbo got scared. I don't believe well, that. You guys can say you were nervous. Like y'all stepped back. I hate because things were right things here. Moving. <laughs> one, one reason Timbo got scared. Do you want to try it again, with full force? Is should I be nervous? What's gonna break? Uh, yes, you should be nervous. About what? What's gonna break? Technically uh, nothing. You're probably fine. Uh, no so way. anyway, it could be a lot. All the prussics or all the pulleys. There's a lot of bearing friction. It could be that. It could be that Timbo's getting tired. It could be that he's scared, or it could be that they they think they built a 91, but they didn't. <laughs> that they actually did build something else. But I mean, it's the professor on the job, so I doubt that. <laughs> Timbo, you want to do this again? <laughs> all right, here we go. One kilonewton Timbo, giving it all. Jesus, Ooh, it's making noises. It's on the tree. The tree's moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. That's for you. All right, and we're at. It didn't record it. Wait. Five point four four. So a nine to one ends up being five point four four because of the bearing friction or because you guys put it together wrong? It, it's a nine to one. Okay. So that's interesting. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We all enjoy doing this. It's really fun to play with ropes and test things out. And we all learned a lot just from playing around with things. It was it was definitely enjoyable with this fun little dynamometer load cell thingy. Uh, if you have thoughts, questions, concerns, anything about what we did, please let us know. We enjoy this format. This is informal, it's fun, it's meant to be fun. If you liked it, let us know. If you think it's irresponsible for us to pretend to be rescue instructors and goof off like this, let us know, because we'll try to be more responsible. Uh, but this is just us like having fun with the dynamometer, recording it, and sharing it with the world. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and yep, yeah, see you in the next episode. Thanks.